Hello there. Today's video is on HTML and it's specifically using the P tag. So I have this plain HTML document listed here and uh, the P tag will uh, put in paragraphs on text. So we have a whole bunch of text. The idea is that this is a paragraph so we do a well let's look at it first. Let's do a open it in Chrome. All the text just runs on together so you have to put something in there to break it up. Uh, a lot of times people put a uh, br slash and then refresh which is not correct semantically. Uh, this is a paragraph unto itself so you should do a slash p like that. Let's go ahead and put in several of these. So uh, we should copy that. Actually, we can just cheat and uh, put both tags in at the same time. We'll do it that way. Copy. I copied this much text. Anyway, uh, so now let's save it, go back, refresh the page. There we go, now we got paragraphs. See, lovely paragraphs. But one thing that it used to always annoy me is this empty line. You know, uh, I always want to do it like a Word document. I don't want this little empty line in the middle. So uh, the way to fix that is actually going to be through CSS. So let's go ahead and go into a uh, head and we'll put in a uh, style slash style and that's why I used to always use a lot of breaks anyway instead of the p tag but um, you know nowadays with semantics CS, with semantics you're supposed to use the proper tags in the right places so let's put a p and a curly brace and then another curly brace to close it and uh, we'll do a uh, margin of zero pixels and then semicolon so margin colon zero pixel semicolon let's go ahead and refresh but now all the paragraphs seem to kind of run together, so we're going to do a uh, text indent of, uh, we'll say, 40 pixels. I don't know. It seems like a good number. Uh, so we save that and then refresh the page. There we go. And now all the paragraphs will indent, and it looks just kind of like a Word document. Uh, so the important thing is that uh, you use the P tag for uh, paragraphs every time you begin and end a paragraph you can see I opened the paragraph here and closed the paragraph down here at the end of the paragraph it's alright that it's on the next line it'll still work that way all this stuff runs all together uh, and you saw, saw a little CSS of how to make stuff uh, how to make it work and that's how CSS works it says hey if there's a P tag then go ahead and give it a margin of zero pixels and then this text indent of 40 pixels. We can make that bigger if we really want it to. Let's say uh, 80 pixels. That moves a little more. Uh, so the the property and uh, the colon, and then the value that you want on the property, semicolon, and that's how you, the semicolon separates the lines of the CSS. So there you go. That's how to use the P tag in uh, HTML. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?